Hey what is up guys, so today I'm going to be doing this color grading for GoPro Pro Tune inside of Final Cut Pro. This way it takes away from that dull GoPro footage that you have when it's shot on this kind of raw mode. So the first thing I like to do is go into the titles and get an adjustment layer. I got this one online, but you don't necessarily need one. And I'm going to drag it out across all my clips so I can apply the same effect to all of them. Now once I have that there, I'm going to go into the color and then color board. Now once this is open, this is where we're going to do all the changes for the color grade. So what I like to do is in the exposure, protein mode is usually kind of overexposed and dull, so I like to add some contrast. And I like to do that by bringing the shadows down to negative 8, and the highlights up to 3, and then the midtones down to about negative 5. And you can already see if you turn the adjustment layer off and on, it adds a lot more contrast and quality to the shot. Now in saturation, protein mode is really desaturated because it's meant for color grading. So on the global saturation, I just bring it up to about 30. And in the color, this is where you're going to do all the changes and minor tweaks that you want to do. Of course, this is all based on personal preference. So for a cinematic look, what I like to do is bring the shadows up into the blues a little bit, about 10%. I like to bring the highlights into the oranges and put that at about 5. And I like to put the midtones somewhere in between those two kind of in the greens and bring that up to about 2%. So now as you can see, there's a really nice shot you can see before and after, which adds a lot more color, saturation, contrast, all the sorts of things you want in a cinematic shot. And if you want to go even further, you can click on the individual clips and you can adjust them from there because this one, the highlights are a bit brighter, so I can either bring that down or bring it up based on the shot I want. Now that fits a bit better into the scene. So anyway, this is just like a one minute little thing you can do to create much better looking shots from your GoPro if you want to shoot on ProTune and get that higher quality. Anyway, that's it for today. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.